I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Chris Michaels. More heavy rain over parts of the Virginia and North Carolina border, specifically around Stewart. You guys have seen a lot of heavy rain over the last little bit. Uh, you too in Oak Level, just north of Martinsville, where really we don't need any more rain. Unfortunately, it looks like there is some more rain coming. It is moving into some rain cool there. That's some good news, so I don't think it's going to last terribly long, but around 1130, 1140 is when we could see some pockets of heavy rain moving into horse pasture and also into Martinsville. So water levels may rise briefly before going down overnight in that part of Henry County. Uh, more gully washers around Amherst that's moving off towards the north towards Lovingston and out of the Storm Team 10 viewing area. Another downpour around Buena Vista, but that too is moving off towards the northeast. And similarly, we got some rain showers moving into Wythe County, into parts of Pulaski County. Uh, that rain is moving into some more rain cooled air and again is starting to weaken as it gets closer to our neck of the woods. And, and Future Track are really picking up on this very well. So a pretty reliable source here as we go through the next few hours. Kind of shows the general trend for downpours to weaken. But nonetheless, we're going to watch out for you in Martinsville and Danville as well as South Boston as these showers continue to make their way towards the east. This is 5, 5 30 in the morning tomorrow and things for the most part looking dry may actually see a little bit of patchy fog with some clearing in the skies as we go through the overnight. Let's fast forward towards tomorrow afternoon and a much different picture. OK, we may actually see some sunshine uh, given the fact that it's going to be warm and humid. You guys know how this goes. You start to see some pop up showers and storms and I'm thinking the better chance of that is going to be south of 460 by tomorrow. So planning out your Sunday, heading out the door temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. We're in the upper 70s already by 11 o'clock in the morning and with a little bit more sunshine temperatures topping out in the 80s, a good 10 to 15 degrees warmer than what we did today. 87 in Star City, 86 Lynchburg and Danville, 85 Martinsville, 84 in Blacksburg and in the 70s naturally in the Highlands, but can't rule out again a few pop up storms as we go into tomorrow afternoon, but not going to be nearly as widespread as what we're seeing now. 87 the high in Roanoke, but this front gets closer to the area. And oh, come on, right? More rain coming in by Monday. That could lead to some flooding once again. The ground very wet, a little bit of lightning, but I don't see a whole big threat for large hail or tornadoes or wind damage or anything like that. Nonetheless, I think it's a good idea that you have the Storm Team 10 app in the palm of your hand. Current and future radar, any alerts if they're issued, and forecast updates at least twice a day from your Storm Team 10 team. All right, 60% chance of rain on Monday, getting a little wetter, a little more unsettled to start the week. Again, I think we could see some delayed ball games both Monday and Tuesday, but check it out later in the week. That front kind of sags south of the area. Temperatures warm into the 80s with rain chances finally going down by Thursday and Friday. We'll be right back for more 10 news at 11.